Having the right wedge set up in your bag is crucial to ensuring that you play better golf, whether that's navigating short, tricky-sided chip shots or towering full wedge shots into tight pins. Having the right wedges in your bag will make sure that you play better golf and in turn reduce your handicap. Now the manufacturers have released plenty of models this year and so if you're in the market for a new wedge it can feel a little daunting but don't worry we're here to help. We're at the beautiful North Hans Golf Club where I've split the best wedges from this year into three categories that's looks, forgiveness and performance and then finally I'll offer my personal favourite on the best wedge for this year. Right let's get into it starting with the looks. Now there hasn't really been anything revolutionary in terms of the looks from the wedges in 2023, but there is a lot of variety. Let's start with the PHG Sugar Daddy 2. So this is one of the wedges this year that is actually only offered with full face grooves. There are two grind options available and it's quite a large head behind the ball considering it's a bladed wedge. And then there's the Mizuno T24. I think this wedge looks superb. It's so classic. It's a timeless look behind the ball as well. It's quite a compact head, um, but these wedges are available in three different finishes, which I think will please so many people. There's a copper, a raw, and the satin finish. Now there is a new grind coming at the end of this summer, a V grind based on tour player feedback. So that'll be really interesting to see how that one looks. Oh God, my body hurts. <laughs> Next you have the Betanardi HLX 5.0 wedges. Now these are a beautiful bit of forgemanship, crafted from carbon steel. Now these feature CNC milling the whole way across the back of the head, which look amazing. And they are available in two finishes, the satin and the black. They're a wedge that looks like a player wedge, a tour player's wedge behind the ball. Um, quite a small head, um, but one that will please the better player. Finally, we have the Titleist Vokey SM9. Now, this is a classic wedge. The Vokey is known as one of the most popular wedges on tour, and that's because of its look behind the ball. It's quite a compact looking wedge. There's seven grinds available in these wedges. Um, the newest one being the T grind that has a lot of heel and toe relief um, and quite an aggressive leading edge that will please some of the better players. And then lastly, we've got the Adele SMS T grind. Now these wedges are really cool. They look amazing and they come with three interchangeable weights in the back, two two gram weights and an eight gram weight, which means you can really dial in the ball flight. Behind the ball, it's got a quite, quite a spoon-like finish. It's quite round quite small and again probably won't suit the eye of someone looking for a bit more forgiveness but they look great for someone who's confident behind the ball. Tell me you got that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're someone who struggles with your chipping or you know someone who does struggle from their chipping now's the time to share this video with them. We're gonna talk you through some of the most forgiving models on offer this year. Now, some of the ones I've already mentioned do have high bounce options, but nothing quite offers forgiveness like these cavity back wedges here. Firstly, we've got the Callaway CB wedge. Now, this wedge is new for this summer and features urethane microspheres that have been planted behind the face here in this insert to dampen the fill and vibration and produce a really premium wedge-like fill. Now, there, it is a large head, there's a thick top line, and it really does inspire confidence behind the ball whilst playing like a premium wedge. Secondly, we have the Cleveland CBX Full Face 2. Now, as the name suggests, it's got full face grooves on here. It, they feature zip core grooves as well, which are found in the likes of the RTX 6 wedge. And again, it's got an insert behind the face here, again, to dampen vibration, make that wedge feel really premium and sound really good as well, whilst helping with the longer shots. So lastly, you have the Cobra Snake by X, SBX. Now, this is a teardrop style head um, that again features full face grooves. Now, these grooves are said to improve spin rates by up to 50% in damp conditions um, compared to its predecessor model. And while we haven't had the opportunity yet to test it really in wet conditions, we're looking forward to seeing how that plays out this winter. Now, if I was to pick my absolute favorite from the most forgiving wedges, it would have to be the Callaway CB. Not only is it brand new for this year, but the urethane microspheres just dampen, and dampen the sound and vibrations to make it feel like a player's wedge, while the large head and cavity back offer so much relief from full shots. Now, there is the full face option, on the higher lofted wedges for those of you that like to open the face up and hit, and hit a variety of shots. But overall, this is definitely the most forgiving wedge. 
Now, all of the wedges that came out in 2023 offer superb performance, but there are a few that stand out in particular. Firstly, we're gonna talk about the Callaway Jaws Raw Wedge. Now, this is the black plasma finish, but these wedges are also offered in a chrome finish as well as a full face finish. Now, these have tungsten weights situated behind the head to improve consistency of ball flight. I did notice that they do fly quite low and penetrative, which is something as a good player I really enjoy. Now next we've got the Glide 4.0 from Ping. This is the brother to the Glide Pro, which is a slightly more compact head, but I feel like this wedge offers the most in overall performance. Now there's a CTP insert situated behind the face here, which is not very common in players' wedges, but it does offer improved feel and performance. So the face itself has been spin milled and the grooves on the higher lofted wedges actually sit a little wider to create more spin than the lower lofted wedges. A really clever formula thought out by the ping technicians. Now the next best performing wedge of 2023 is the Cleveland RTX 6 Zip Core. These wedges look amazing behind the ball. All the grinds available offer toe and heel relief for maximum versatility. They're offered in three different bounce options, low, mid and high, and also a number of finishes. This is the chrome finish here, and then you've got the likes of the Torak finish here. There is a raw face and will rust over time. This is used by the likes of Brooks Kepka and has helped him win his recent major championship. Now lastly is the TaylorMade MG4. The much anticipated wedge from TaylorMade has just been released this summer and is offered in two different finishes. You've got the chrome and you've got the satin black, both of which look superb. They offer raw faces, which again will rust over time and manufacturers claim that this does, this does offer more spin. Although upon our testing, we're yet to find that is the case. These wedges feature spin tread technology, which is a new technology implemented by TaylorMade this year. And it's basically moisture management. And so there are little grooves inset within the other grooves to allow water to disperse off the club face, increasing contact time of the ball, and in general, creating more spin in wetter conditions. Here's some data that I've captured while inside on a GC quad launch monitor. The reason I've done this inside is basically to eliminate all variables and make sure we're on a level playing field. Now, as you can see, the TaylorMade MG4 and the Cleveland RTX 6 actually did produce a little more spin with a slightly lower launch than the other models, but there really wasn't much to separate them. Now, if I was to pick an overall favorite in terms of the performance of the wedges in 2023, I would choose the TaylorMade MG4. Not only do I think it looks amazing, the CNC milling across the sole here really helps the club glide through the turf. And I'm really interested to see how the spin tread technology works here in England in the wetter conditions this winter. So there you have it. I've tested all the models from all the brands of 2023 to offer you an insight as to which wedges I think are the best in those three categories. But it wouldn't be a Golf Monthly best of video if I didn't pick my overall favorite. Now I'm gonna go for the Mizuno T24 wedge. I talked about this earlier on in the video, but the quad cut grooves really did maximize spin from a variety of lies in different conditions. And I really liked how compact the head looked behind the ball. I really liked how aggressive the leading edge was with this wedge. It, there's so much heel and toe relief as well, so you can be really versatile around the greens, creating loads of different shots. Now this wedge is offered in three different finishes. There's a copper, a raw, and a satin, so there's going to be one that you like as well. But for me, this ticked all the boxes in terms of performance, looks, and feel. Hopefully you've really enjoyed this video and it's given you a really good insight as to what the best wedges of 2023 are. So before we go, hit the like button, subscribe to Golf Monthly's YouTube channel so you don't miss any videos. But that's all from me here at the beautiful North Hans Golf Club. We'll see you next time.